13 Hours. That's the new film about the deadly attack on the U.S. consulate in, Meng in Benghazi, inspired by real-life events. Well, now the real heroes behind the story are speaking out. Nightline anchor Juju Chang has their story. It has all the makings of an epic Hollywood tale, unsung heroism, bravery, honor. But 13 Hours, billed as a true-life, untold version of events in Benghazi, also sparking fresh controversy. Someone who lies to the families of those four victims in Benghazi can never be president of the United States. She proved in that 11-hour Benghazi hearing that she could stand her ground. But director Michael Bay, known for killer transformers and explosive Armageddon, isn't surprised. It's basically turned into a political hot potato. Why, why did you want to pick that up? Because there was a great human story underneath it. This was a really heroic night, That's really it. heroic. And no one knew that. None of you have to go. We are the only help they have. We knew that to get out of there, we're going to have to depend on each other. Yeah. And simple i mean kill them before they kill you mark geist known as oz chris parento known as tonto and john tig tegan were three of six elite former commandos who volunteered to mount a rescue operation when terrorists attacked the diplomatic residents a mile away from their secret cia base a lot of people misunderstand contractors they think they're either adrenaline junkies or they're mercenaries out for money we are going to give our lives for others if you need us to do it we're going to do it that's how we're ready a lot of hillary clinton's enemies use this and hold her accountable do you hold her accountable in this not my concern you know who i hold accountable is ansar al sharia that's who attacked him that's who killed the ambassador that's who launched the mortars led by actor john krasinski 13 hours is the men's account of that night's battle which killed four americans including ambassador christopher stevens although the cia calls the men's claims a distortion of events and people the most important thing that i hope people are surprised by is how little, if any, politics are involved in the movie because we had the luxury of all the politics came after this night. So when these guys were trying to survive and trying to save people, there were no congressional hearings, there were no emails, there were no opinions. To take on the physically demanding role, Krasinski, known for his comic charm in The Office, Where is my desk? Trained hardcore, going from 26% body fat to just five in four months. And do you see yourself as an action star now? I've always seen myself. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Getting in this shape and doing these things are definitely unlike anything I ever thought I'd be doing. For Good Morning America, Juju Chang, ABC News, Dallas.